Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you how to install a bucket server on your computer. Uh, the, main in, uh, the main advantage of a bucket server over a normal Minecraft vanilla server, which is the official Minecraft server, is that you can install plugins very easily, so that's why I'm doing this to show you how to do all that. I'm also going to be covering uh, port forwarding and enabling opening ports that um, your firewall or virus protection has blocked. Alright, so we need to go to bucket.org, click on the get craft bucket tab, that'll open up a text tutorial on how to set up your server, uh, and you just want to download the latest build with this link. I'll just create a file folder on the desktop to copy that into. Uh, while that's downloading you need to open up uh, a text editing program. I'll use notepad and you need to type down the following uh, java hyphen capital x m s 1024 M and the same again jar that's the file type and then you need the name of your the file uh, for the server so you just copy that paste that there and then dot jar which is the file type again and then hyphen o true and in capitals, pause. And you want to save as. Just save it in the bucket server folder there. And go to, if you're using Notepad, you want to select the file type as all files. And run.bat and save it as that. Save it in the folder there. If you're using a program that doesn't let you select a uh, file type, like WordPad, you just type out the same thing. Go to Save As, and in the file name, in quotation marks, just save it as the run.bat file type, and that'll save it as the correct file type. Cancel that. Now that my download's finished, so I just copy that into the bucket server folder as well with the run file. And to start the server, just click open the run file. It'll take a little while the first time, it's just creating the folders. And if you've created a normal Minecraft server, you should recognize all these folders. They're pretty much the same as the official Minecraft server. The only difference is you've got a plugins folder. This is where you copy all your plugin files. Okay, that's finished. I'll stop that. Now I'll quickly show you how to do plugins on the bucket site. Go to get plugins. I'll just get the essentials, which is a plugin with all the uh, most used commands. Here's the page. Click download. Download again. And that's done. So just copy that into your plugins folder. And with your extracting software, just extract all the files. Then you can delete that as well. And then once you run the server again, it'll load up your plugin that you've put in. Stop that.
Now I'm going to show you how to port forward so that uh, friends will be able to join your server. So you need to first you need to find your default gateway address. So in run type cmd, enter, you'll get this command window. Type ipconfig, enter, and just write down your default gateway address here. It'll be different to mine, but you just type down that one. And now we need to port forward your modem. Go to portforward.com and on the routers tab, click on port forwarding guides. And you should be able to find a guide for your modem here. You just need to find the um, model of your modem. It'll be on the bottom of your modem. Now for my one, I'll just type in the def default gateway address that we wrote down earlier in the address bar. Hit enter. I got a new modem. So I'll show you how to do this again if you haven't watched my tutorial in how to, on how to install an official Minecraft server. I suggest you watch that if you wanted to see how to inst uh, port forward a different type of modem. I'll show you how to do this one. I click on toolbox and game and application sharing and I want to create a new game or application. I'll name it bucket, name it whatever you want and I need to do manual entry of port maps. Leave the protocol on any and for your port range just the you need to type in the Minecraft port, which is 25565. And add. On the protocol, if you've, you'll, you either want to select any or both. You need to put forward both TCP and UDP. So I just clicked add, that added that there. Now I need to apply the name. Now I want to assign it to my local network. So I choose the one that I just created, bucket. Choose the computer that you're running, going to be running the server off. That one. And then add. And apply. Now that you've port forwarded your modem, you want to test that it's working. So you need to run your server. Go to you get signal. .com. and click on the port forwarding tester tools. Leave the address as it is, and you just want to check the port that you've just forwarded, so 25565. And hopefully if everything's gone smoothly for you, the port should be open. Uh, if it says it's closed, the first thing you want to do is make sure that your the server is running. Then check again if it's still closed. It could be a firewall problem. This was a problem for me when I tried to port forward my new modem. So for me, I had to go to set up. This is in my virus protection software. Set up, then firewall, advanced rules, and add. And you want to go for the rule type you need to allow traffic. Leave that on all protocol TCP and put in the Minecraft port. 25565 and for the traffic both like that and then we need to do the same for UDP as well now I'll just show you how people can connect to your server there we go multiplayer add server put in whatever name they want 
or whatever the server's called. You need to put in the host's IP address. To get this, just go to Google. Search my IP and it'll come up at the top there. Yeah, so they need to put in the host's IP address. Then colon and the port number 25565 then you can connect and there you go that's how you install a bucket server if you have any problems please leave a comment and I'll try to help you best I can thanks for watching see ya